Hi, and uh, welcome to the solutions and explanation for the cosine rule. This is the first one of the cosine rule ones. I think it's four sides. So we'll find out the sides. And um, use calculator. You need to know the formula. So having it written down somewhere is going to be pretty handy. And you're going to want a bit of pen and paper because um, this isn't one step of questions normally. Normally, it's going to be some sort of workings. Uh, to find out the missing information. Um, just a general piece of advice that you know you need the cosine rule because it's obvious in this exercise because it says cosine rule, so that's where your mind's going to be going. It's when you've either got two sides and an inclusive angle and you need to find the third side, uh, or you've got all three sides and you want to find out a size of an angle. And both instances is when there's not a right angle triangle because if it's a right angle triangle, Sarkatoas can be much easier. So having uh, said all that, let's uh, begin the exercise. So finding these missing sides, um, just put the different numbers into the cosine rule formula. You gotta remember that um, angle A is opposite side A. So if this is um, angle A, this is side A. And also um, bear in mind that it doesn't matter which way around you have B and C in this instance because they're in the same positions in the formula anyway. So it doesn't matter if you call this B or this B, uh, you're going to get the same either way. So let's uh, check some numbers in the formula and see what we get. So, point nine squared plus 11.5 squared. Take away 2 times 6.5. Nine times 11.5 times cos 65 square root equals one decimal place 10.6 and uh, the next one so same sort of thing uh, it's just going to be 8.4 squared plus 11.4 squared Take away 2 times 8.4 times 11.4 times cos 59. Square root that, you're going to get 10.1. And last one, so um, 22.7 squared plus 21.7 squared. Take away 2 times 21.7 times 22.7 times cos 114 gets us 37.2. It's also um, important to think about what's sensible. Now, it's, it's just a case of the bigger side is going to be opposite the biggest angle. The smaller side is going to be opposite the smallest angle and the medium side it's going to be opposite the medium angle. So 65, we're getting the medium side. Does that seem like it could, should be the medium angle? Yeah, it kind of does. Uh, this one, again, medium side, medium angle. Yep, yeah, that seems about right. And this one, definitely the biggest angle. And yes, we are getting the biggest side. So they're all sensible answers. We've got more right. Great. Uh, what else can they ask us? So we've got a bicycle. Uh, the diagram shows part of a bicycle frame. The frame is to be made such that all these stuff are true. Use a cosine rule to figure out the lengths of B to D. So B to D. Okay, oh, that's B to D and then B to C. So um, it's just sort of a situation where if you think about this, this is just a question, a page one question. It's just a triangle. And then once we found out this information, we've got enough information for this last uh, triangle. Okay, so it's just sort of a knock-on effect sort of question. So we're going to be doing the same sort of thing as we did before. So 46 squared plus 42 squared. Take away 2 times 46 times 42 times cos 68. You're going to get that first one is going to be um, near a centimeter, so 49 centimeters. And I'm not going to use a rounded value here. I'm going to use the um, exact value. So um, all I've got to do to 
uh, do that is instead of typing in 49, instead of typing anything in, I'm just going to keep it in my calculator. And every time I want it, I'm going to just press the answer button because it will remember the last answer I used. So answer squared plus 48 squared. Take away 2 times answer times 48 times cos 69 is 55.1, which is 55 to the nearest whole number. Now let's just check those. And we got them right. Excellent. Okay. So that's how to approach those. A little thing about how to spot the cosine rule, how to spot, uh, how to do things involving rounding to keep your answers accurate. Hopefully that's helpful. If you need some other help, then just let me know.